What's going on, everybody here, and welcome back to some more Tectonica today. You know what? Hold on. First thing we have to try. What happens if you get hit by a thing going super fast? We have to know right now. Nothing. Nothing happens. All right. I wasn't surprised. Anyways, welcome back to Tectonica. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. Can't complain. Um, doing some actually, you know what? Actually, I'm actually doing some super exciting Pokemon stuff lately. We've I've been doing some Pokemon stuff. All right. I've been playing some card games, doing some trade, having a blast. And uh, actually, I'm going to start making some, uh, I'm going to make some videos every now and then over, over some Pokemon stuff, but that's going to be on a different channel. Anyways, let's get into today's episode. So today we're going to get sector one operational. Because if you look right in front of me, this is not operational. This is not okay. So we need to make it okay. And in order for us to make it okay, we gotta get stuff running. So let's go ahead and let's try to figure this out here. So what I had came up with is if we have a belt going down here, that will be an input. And then we'll have one going down here as well. This will also be an input, but then no, we're gonna have to flip it around and have an output right here. Because if we don't, this, oh, okay. Thank you, Sparks. Appreciate it. Um, anyways, so that is for this middle row right here. And then on this side over here, we're gonna have another belt coming out. So these are gonna be our outputs for all of our uh, delicious uh, new items. Now let's go ahead and get this one and bring it over here like so. Okay, so now that those are ran, uh, we're gonna have to get a lot of inserters and stuff like that going, of course, but I need to figure out how we're going to, um, we need to output, we need to get the copper up here and the copper needs to be, hold on, let's go ahead and get rid of, let's get rid of those and then let's do, let's see if the copper comes up here, hold on, let's see We need to do something like this, no that that actually that's it that's all we need we literally just need that right there that'll be our copper input and then our outputs will be here and then the outputs are going to go into here into storage so then they can go into here and go to transportations and get shot out at a speed unconceivable to mankind <laughs> okay so now let's look at what we have okay so this right here this is our copper line and in order to get our copper line to where we need it to be, because it needs to be like right here. Hold on. You know what? Actually, let's do a little bit of deletion, shall we? Let's do something like this. And then hold on, you can you can just stay away for a minute. Let's go down here. Uh, let me fall. Eh. Whee! Okay. Uh, we'll go to here like that. Now, this is not going to be the most beautiful setup in the world. I, I apologize. I apologize. Um, again, it is form over function here. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so now what I need to do is we need to go ahead and put the output of this belt into here, like a so. And then what we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and just connect this belt to there. Sorry, these can go around into there. And then I don't need this one looping. Hold on, let's take that out. Let's take this out. Let's grab a, um, where is, do I not have any? I need to get my other hotbar set up. You know, I really should go through and set up my hotbars like appropriately. But instead, I prefer to be a pleb and just not have them set up appropriately. <laughs> Where's my... Okay, so I need an inserter. Um, we'll put that right there. Okay. So, hold on. Let's grab the inserter, which is right here, and set it right there. Okay. So, that works. Now, uh, we need to go ahead and output onto this belt as well. So, let's go ahead and let's start doing that. Actually, you know what? If, if this belt is backed up, well, you know what? It's fine. All right, so that's going into here. We can't go up there, right there. We can go up right here, though. We'll get this all figured out. Don't worry. All right, so now that that's there, we just go like this, and then I grab this guy, and then I grab this guy like that, and then oh, all right, copper line is up and running. Wonderful. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and we need to get all of the outputs going into storages. Now, are storages stackable? I don't believe that they are. Um, maybe I should go ahead and make some more storage options. What do we even have for storage options? I don't have any storage options. I have zero storage options. Okay, so let's pop down in here. Do we have any? We have 314 in there. Okay. Can I make some storage? Let's go ahead and make like 10 of those. And then I am going to need to make a boatload and a metric boatload of uh, inserters and stuff. <laughs> I know this. I know this for sure. You know, let's just make this look a little bit nicer. Let's do, let's do something like this. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, the detail. Oh, it's one level and then up to the next level and then down from one level and then up to the next. I know. Amazing. <laughs> oh, God. I told you I was having a good day, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so this is all looking fine and dandy. Mm, these are not looking fine and dandy. We need to get we need to get faster. You know, honestly, it might be faster belts. We might just need faster belts. And if we need faster belts, so be it. We'll make it happen. Um, okay, so let's get some storages here figured out. So we got, we got seven of these bad boys. Put those worth the accumulators. These don't stack, right? No, they don't. Okay, so oh, the problem here, I mean, I guess there's, you know, I mean, this one's not being utilized right now. This line right here is is not is not going to work for us right now. Okay, I'm, we're going to have to move this. So we'll just we'll just leave that to do that thing. Okay. Um trying to figure out what we should do here. Should we just go? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just set up another one there, there. Because we're gonna have what? We have one, two, three more items. So one, two. Well, I guess there's three right here. That that would be three. So I guess we could start with that. We'll start by outputting to those. So I'll go ahead and grab this. We'll bring this down and around like this kind of deal. And then in front of there. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, basically do this. Something like this. No, I don't want it to do that, though. Well, I'm not really going to have a choice, am I? I wanted it to go up and over, but we can't have it go up and over. Yes, we can. Okay, so let's do this. Let's set this here. And then we'll grab this to there to there. Hold on, we need, we need another one of these here. And then we'll set this guy here. Rotate that over. Rotate that over this way, and then this will just go on top like that, like this, and then this will go down and around, and then to right there. Perfect. Okay, so that one works. So now we can do the same thing with this one. All right, I'm trying to get this all figured out here. Getting these belts to like go up and around corners and stuff like that is always kind of a pain because this actually needs to go up first. Okay, so there we go. So we'll bring it over this way, then this way. And then this way, hold on, this should, perfect. Okay, there we go, we got it. <laughs> Had to do a little bit of shenanigans, but it worked, it did its thing after convincing. Let me go down. Uh, we're gonna have to mold this out just a little bit. There, all right, then this can go around this way and this can go around that way, all right. So there's our three containers ready for storage. Actually, let's go ahead and let's put in uh, these guys just that way they are actually ready and but when I start this I don't forget So that all looks fine. Okay, so now we need to go through. Oh And we got to output a lot of stuff. So let's see Let's get all these made and then what is the cost of this? So a, a regular inserter, okay uh, We're gonna need fast inserters, but we're gonna start with regular inserters first <laughs> And then I also need I also need long inserters too, which is uh, oh, actually, I have some, so we'll grab some of those. And the long inserters just need to go on this this side and the other side, because this is going to output to the other side. Yeah, okay. No, no, that is incorrect and wrong, because this is pulling from there. Okay, but it's going to output here. Hold on a second. What? <laughs> okay, input. No, these are wrong as well. Okay. The output, this is, wait, what? Hold on a second. Okay, I messed up. Output, input, input, output, input, output. Oh, actually, I don't need any long inserters. I don't need any. These are just gonna output on this side, like this. I don't I don't even know what I was doing. And then they're gonna input here. Yeah, so I, I, you know what? I have no idea. It is what it is, I guess. Okay, and then the three things that we're making here is going to be the frame, so let me go ahead and get the frames hooked up on each of these. And then on this side, we're gonna be doing the copper components. And then on this side, we're gonna be doing copper wire. And I need to get two more assemblers. Do I have two more assemblers? Oh, I got all the assemblers ready to go. <coughs> okay, so there's all of that. So now we just need to get some more inserters in here. So we'll go ahead and place these on here like this. And then we need to output these as well. And then is that it? Is that it? Are we done? Are we up and running? Fully operational? We've got frames coming in. We've got components going out. And this should be wire on this side. And we have wire. Oh my gosh. And then these are all being brought into here. Into the storage. Wire has been crafted. 
I can see it flowing. My goodness, we've done it. We have done the things. Some people said it was impossible. Some people said we'd never see this day, but we've done it. <laughs> okay, so now let's see what we got down here. So we got a whole bunch of backload here. That's all good. Okay, so the iron is not working as great. Now, what I like about this is that each resource is getting something to start with. So like we will always be making a little of everything. The problem with how I have this set up down here is that these six are making one thing and then these six are making another thing. But the problem is that these belts, they don't typically reach down there. So I'm making a lot more frames than I am of, than I am of anything else. Uh, so yeah, you, you see the pro you see the problem here. So what I need to actually do on this is in order to get this working properly is, I'll, you know, honestly, is I should have run the input in the middle here like this and split it. Actually, we could fix this. Hold on. We could actually fix this. I think if I run this in here, all I would have to do is run up and over these connect to here, go up and over this. So this doesn't connect and then into that one. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. We got this. Not even an issue. Let me go ahead and actually do something here. Let me go ahead and put a frame in right here and right here. Oh, uh, wait, no, because this is one we actually need to hook into, right? Yes. This is one we don't want to hook into. And this is one we don't want to hook into. So I'm gonna put those there as a block. So that, way that can't happen. And then all I need to do actually grab this and run it like that. So now, and then this just needs to go the other direction. And then we can get rid of this belt. And then this belt right here needs to just do the same thing. You know, there's actually not even in. Oh yeah, there is. I was like, there's not even inserters down here. Okay, perfect. Oh, darn it. I just, I just did a bad thing. Will you connect there? No, darn it. I accidentally deleted. Okay, perfect. So the outputs can stay the same and then I can just delete these. And then all we have to do is basically hook this into right here. Wham, bam. Oh my gosh. We just fixed our problem. We didn't have to do anything. We didn't have to change anything up, but that should fix everything because it should divide it. Uh, it's going to divide everything equally uh, each direction, which means it's going to get some here and some here, which is going to mean that we're going to actually get some of these other parts. How are we looking? Let's see. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Are we going to finally start making some other parts here? What is going on here? Okay. Hold on. Something is not working. That was not working correctly. Let's try this again. All right. How about now? Yes. Okay. So that is working correctly. This is not working correctly. So what we need to do here, delete those, grab a belt, go into here, go into there. That will redo that. And, ah, oh, perfect. Look at that. We actually have production on both sides. My goodness. We did it. Okay. So sector one is full. Well, it's mostly operational. What the heck? Holy full of everything we are already. Okay. These are going to require faster inserters for sure. All right. There we go. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So these are all, these are all cruising along a little bit better now. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We definitely filled the line so far. Holy moly. Okay, cool. So now what I need to do, I really need to get a lot of fast inserters. We really need like a bunch of them because honestly, I need to probably crank up everything. Um, especially the iron line. Well, actually, you know, iron line is actually looking pretty good now. It is doing the things except this, this guy, this guy's out of, out of iron. We have one, two, three, four, and it's really only capable of keeping up with one, two, three. Well, I guess four and four. All right. That's fine. Okay. So now what I need to do is now <laughs> I fell off of everything. Now I need to go ahead and we need to send everything on the train. Ooh, we need to send it all, send it away. So the train can have items received items to send. So this is where I'm trying to figure out how many items do we actually want to send per train? Because we have items received and then items to send. So we have a bunch of slots in here that I can fill. However, we are going to have this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We also have seven, which is going to be the, um, the other in intermediate. What is it? Uh, this guy mechanical components. We're going to make those here as well. Uh, so that's going to be seven and then eight. If we do biofuel or if we make, well, no, I guess that's it. I guess it would just be seven. 
but how many things do I want to set here? Because we have eight outputs, and the fat the problem is with the fastest output we have that can be filtered is the filters the filter um insert and it's not fast like it is very slow <laughs> so i'm trying to decide if it's worth because it would be ideally to be nice if if we're gonna have to run a system on on filtered inserters um you know what though we might actually hit the you know what we need to do is we need to <laughs> probably should we probably should unlock the next tier of research and that might even give us some new items uh to help us along with this especially logistics that might give us never mind it's gonna give us pack size mm. well we can see what the next one is i guess so let's do this should we just send everything in here and then just put filter inserters and just start sending it all that way and then we can always redo over here later if we need to i feel like that's probably a good idea i feel like that's a fine idea so let's do that let's go ahead and do um we need to bring in all of these items and then we need to also outport output them all to the other place all right this is going to be fun this is this right here there's going to be some serious spaghetti here because we're going to have one two three four five we're gonna have, let's start we're gonna start with six inputs so let's see what is the cleanest way that we can do this um okay so i have the <laughs> i have the first four. Oh my gosh it looks interesting so one two three and four there's our first four items. Oh, this is going to be wild. Um, oh, you know what? Shoot. Uh, hold on. Nope. Nope. Stop. Stop. Because you're going to start mixing items into everything. Okay. Uh, this is going to be interesting. So hold on. We need... <laughs> this is going to be fun. Let's go make another one of those guys. And then what am I missing for... I'm probably missing... Yeah, I'm missing iron. Okay. Um, and also my inventory is like full. Let me go ahead and dump my inventory real quick. We need more iron. And this is turning into spaghetti central so much for um not having spaghetti central it's gonna be spaghetti central though that's fine okay so i got some more things we're making more things real quick oh no darn it all right we're gonna put those there now i need to get some stuff to the other side this thing looks so interesting it's so it's actually kind of cool uh, but i think i have a better option i have a better idea here so if we're gonna bring in let me see here if i do one two three and then four so let's say we wanted to do one there and then two. Oh, see, that's not far enough. That's not far enough away. Okay, so we could do that. One, two, three, four. That gives us four more inputs. And basically, I just have to hook them onto these belts here. Okay, so that'll work. However, what do we not have hooked up currently? We don't have these hooked up currently. Um, and basically, we need this and this to go away. We need this go this way oh my gosh are we even gonna be, is this even gonna go through here like talk about threading the needle like go through oh my gosh it'll go through okay and then we'll go ahead and go this way okay all right so we'll do that and then this guy basically just continues going down like that and then it's good okay so that is for the other side and then we also need to get this guy going which we can just go ahead and bring over here like this connect that to there and then that's our six different resources currently. We're about to have, we're gonna have seven because we're gonna have another thing on the top here. However, we want, I just wanna see what it looks like to get all these things going because it's gonna be, it's gonna be wild. I'm telling I'm telling you, it's a wild ride right now. And let's go ahead and get all these belts going. And then we're also gonna need um, five, 10 of the filtered inserters. All right, so now let's go over there and let's get some uh, storage set up for these. So we can just start it and kind of see how it goes. Okay, how many of the, oh, I have eight. Oh, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get in. Actually, you know what? I want to try getting these as close. I want to try getting these closer together. All right, so we have all of these. So now what we can do is we already obviously have that one going there. So let's go ahead and let's get this one going out. I mean, I guess we could... Well, no, we can't do that. It has to be like that. And then this one can actually go... Oh, you know what? We have to start it up here and then rotate it and then do that. Okay, so there's those outputs. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but I think I'm going to try to bring these around the back side here. So that way they can all go. Since these, these, all these outputs are all going to this side over here. We're going to go ahead and bring those back and around. Okay. So this side looks a little bit wild. And the reason, for, <laughs> the reason for that is because these are all going to have to step up, um, to go up here, if that makes sense. So like that is basically what's going to happen here oh this is going to be interesting actually i'm not even sure this is going to work we might have to okay so far it's working 
Okay, so there's that. And then, oh, this is going to be interesting. So basically, the bottom ones are going to go straight to the things. These ones are going to come around here and then eventually start dropping down. Okay, so there's all of the outputs from this one. Look at this. It looks like a Medusa. It's a wild thing now. All right, well, I guess, you know what? Let's let's just run all the belts out to everything. Um, Oh, man, this rail right here is in, in the way. If I delete that, does that delete? Yeah, it does. It deletes the whole, it deletes the whole darn thing. Um, okay, well, let me get this. Can we just like, that doesn't look right. Oh, there we go. That actually looks perfect. Okay, cool. Belts out of the way. All right, let me get these belts ran and then we'll see, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> this is going to be interesting for sure. Okay, is that excessive? Maybe, but is it done? It is. So basically all I have to do is put uh, filters and inserters and stuff like that on that. But look at that. So these all go around and then they all come in here and then they all get put in their containers and the containers are nice in a row and it looks good and it looks fine. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So let's see. Let's go ahead and we'll just use these uh, regular inserters for now. We'll go ahead and just stick regular inserters. That's fine. And then we need filter inserters on everything else. So um, unfortunately, yeah, this is going to be if these are all going to be filter inserters, which I have 10 of. Thank goodness. All right. So let's go ahead and set these all up. They won't sort anything until they're set up. So, all right, then what did we have in here? Um, frames. Okay. So let me go ahead and start with, so we should have frames, gears, so frames and gears. And then we should also have copper frame, copper components. Uh, let's see. And then we should have copper wire and this is going to be this once we get to it. And then this is going to be the coolant stuff. And then do I have anything else going in there? I don't, we don't have an eighth item yet, so that's okay. All right, so now that those are all set, let's go and actually hook this bad boy up, get everything flowing, and we'll just kind of get an idea of how this is gonna work. Now, like I said, we are completely limited by the speed of those filtered inserters, which is kind of a bummer, but um, it'd be nice if you could just, I, I like the inserter thing, but at the same time, I also like just the direct connect to uh, to belts thing. Not sure which one I prefer to be, to be completely honest, because. I can see the benefits of both of them, you know? And what I mean by like both of them, I mean like, you know, satisfactory style or factorial style or well, this style now. So, okay, and then that works. Let's go ahead and rotate this guy around. And then that's gonna start sending off these. So this is gonna start filling up. Look at that, filling up way faster. I mean, it's not super fast, but now it, it takes a second to fill up and shoom. So, I mean, we are filling up. How many does it fill up at one time? It looks like I could do a stack. Okay, so now let's go check the output side because we're only inputting, are we only put inputting the four items right now? We should be at, well, I thought we had six. All right, and let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Everything's coming out like it's supposed to. Everything's on one belt. Nothing's, you know, super crazy. We all have like what we, everything's going to one place. We are officially moving items. That's cool. I like it. We got our first little train depot going. So we're officially bringing items over. That's super cool. Now, this is the thing, like this is the thing still, is we're not doing it this, this, uh, at an incredible rate at all. <laughs> so when it comes to setting up our further like factories and stuff like that, I'm, I'm honestly not sure how much we're gonna be able to do unless we start getting some more research done, which we need to. I need to go through and I need to get, we need to get our next stuff unlocked because I think there's some, um, I think that there's some logistical stuff up here that's gonna help us. I think the 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 um the inserters are gonna be able to start stacking. They're gonna instead of doing one thing at a time, they're gonna be able to move like I think they can move a couple at a time instead, which insanely helps. And then uh, we also need to get our conveyor belt mark threes going. So, but we're gonna have to get some of that going. We'll have to see. We'll mess with that in the next episode because that's gonna end this one. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We got sector one for the most part up and running. We have one last thing that we need to do, which I'll probably go ahead and just do that off camera. Nothing super exciting. Basically the same thing we just did. And um, we've got, we've officially got stuff coming in. Now this is probably filling up way. No, it's not. Well, I guess, you know what? The filter inserter probably moves at the same speed as a regular inserter on the other side. So they could own, as long as you're using the same inserters, they're probably going to fill and export about the same. So that is super cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. But yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.